Trevor Zegers is one of the brightest personalities in the NHL, and he's absolutely hated for it. Despite being an inspiration for the new generation of hockey players, traditional hockey fans and analysts despise Zegers for his ego, flashy play style, and his pretty boy attitude. But before all of the controversy he caused in the National League, he was playing minor hockey. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, make sure to go check out 99Jersey. They offer great jerseys from all of your favorites like Clark Griswold and Happy Gilmore, and they even have some real jerseys like this Jim Craig USA jersey that they sent me. These jerseys are stitched to perfection and they are just so comfortable to wear. They also have a great throwback vibe that is sure to be a conversation starter. So if you are interested in high quality jerseys, make sure to go check out 99Jersey. Their link will be in the description. As he grew up, he was a fan of the New York Rangers, but took inspiration from Patrick Kane and tried to replicate his play style. Zegers played for the under-17 U.S. national development team during the 2017-2018 season in the USHL, scoring 20 goals and 39 assists for a total of 59 points. He then joined their U18 team in the 2018-2019 season, where he racked up 87 points, including 61 assists. Due to his stellar performance in the USHL, Zegers was drafted in the first round, ninth overall, by the Anaheim Ducks at the 2019 NHL Entry Draft. We'll see. With the ninth selection, Anaheim was proud to select from the USA Development Program, Trevor Zegra. Despite being drafted, he stuck to his commitment to play NCAA Division I hockey for the Boston University Terriers. Zegers joined Boston University's team for the 2019-2020 NCAA season, where he played in 33 games and finished tied for third amongst freshmen in points with 36 points. By the end of his freshman season, Zegers received honors making it to the Hockey East third team All-Star and the Hockey East All-Rookie team, and being a finalist for the Hockey East Rookie of the Year. Also during that season, Zegers took a break from college hockey to play in the 2020 World Junior Championship as an 18-year-old kid. Despite the US coming away with no hardware and placing 6th overall in the tournament, Zegers had 9 assists through 5 games. But the 2021 World Junior Championship is where Zegers really made some noise. He made noise on the score sheet and by letting his confident attitude show. He talked the talk and he definitely walked the walk. Zegers led Team USA with 18 points and 2 points in the gold medal game where they defeated Canada 2-0. Those 18 points led the tournament and helped Zegers take home the MVP, and Ducks fans were starting to notice just how big of a star they could have their hands on. Not only did he lead the United States to the win, but he did so by making highlight reel plays. Overall, in his two World Junior appearances, Zegers tied the US record for career points with 27, including a record-tying 20 assists in just 12 games. After spending the start of the 2021 season in the AHL, Zegers made his NHL debut against the Arizona Coyotes on February 22, 2021. A few games later, on March 18, Zegers scored his first NHL goal against the Coyotes in a 3-2 overtime win. Score! Trevor Zegers! He has his first NHL goal, and the Ducks have tied it! He spent the rest of his first year of pro hockey going up and down between the NHL and the AHL. And at the end of the year, he had 21 points in 17 AHL games and 13 points through 24 NHL games. And since he only played 24 NHL games, he didn't quite meet the amount of games needed to qualify as a rookie, which is 25. The next year, Zegers spent his full time in the NHL, and he made the most of it. In his first full NHL season, Zegers dropped 61 points in 75 games while playing first line minutes and some power play time. These 61 points were enough for him to earn a second place finish in the Calder voting, where he lost to Moritz Sider of the Detroit Red Wings. But his 61 points wasn't what impressed the NHL. It was a string of flashy plays he made during his rookie season. In December of 2021, Zegers shocked the world with the first of many Michigan type plays. He went behind the Buffalo Sabres net, scooped the puck up on his stick and flipped it over the net to his linemate Sonny Milano to bat in and Zegers was just as shocked as everyone else. This goal broke the internet, garnering millions of views and bringing more eyes to the game than ever. It seemed as though everyone liked this play by Zegers except one evil man, John Tortorella. He said it's quote, not good for the game, which is utterly ridiculous. It's cool, you know, it's cool to watch and all that, but I'm not so sure it's good for the game. This goal brought so much attention to the sport and inspired a new wave of younger players, and it even expanded what we thought was even possible to do in a hockey game. 
but old school torts thought that this was a bad look. Zegers responded by saying, it's one of those things where I'm not really too worried what he's thinking or what he's saying. But I feel like it did so much for the game, seeing all these little kids try the move. And Zegers was 100% right when he said this. Not even two months later, Zegers scored again with a Michigan style goal, this time against the Montreal Canadiens. He scooped the puck up behind the net and put it top left on Montembeau. By now, Trevor Zegers was getting all of the media attention, scoring highlight reel goals as a rookie in the NHL and having fun doing it. The media couldn't get enough of him. And because of this, he made a guest appearance during the breakaway challenge in the 2022 All-Star Game and scored one of the most skilled goals I've ever seen. This, again, broke the internet and drew even more attention to Trevor. But he wasn't done just yet. In April, Zieger scored yet another Michigan goal, where he went between the legs, picked up his own rebound, and tucked the Michigan around his own teammate. Absolutely unreal. That is gross. That is absolutely gross. And this is actually one of the reasons why people were starting to resent him. He was scoring these highly real goals, but was still just an above average player. And because of all these goals, he was being marketed like a complete superstar, even to the point where he was put on the cover of NHL 23. This comment from Reddit pretty much sums it up. I don't hate him, I just think he's kind of overrated. He obviously has skill, but outside the occasional Michigan goal, not much about his game has impressed me much. Regardless of the hate starting, Zegers went into his sophomore season with even more confidence and swagger, this time sporting a new number as he switched from 46 to 11. This season was another successful one as he scored a new career high with 65 points in 81 games. But with newfound success came with a newfound controversy. In January 2023, the Ducks and Coyotes were a little over halfway through the game when Zegers gave Coyotes forward Barrett Hayton a bit of a shove in the back of the head while he was down. This obviously started a little scuffle in the corner, and after the chaos settled, Stetcher had a few choice words for Zegers, sparking Zegers to say something that seemed to have went too far. Stetcher then jumped at Zegers, and the officials had to step in and keep things from getting too heated as the two went back and forth. Even after Zegers got sent to the penalty box, Stetcher was still fired up, visibly annoyed by something that Zegers had said. There were some speculations that Zegers had said something about Stetcher's dad who had passed away a few years prior, but that was quickly shot down. But still, this is where people started to have a problem with Zegers. People were commenting things like, must be nice to sit there and chirp while the refs are protecting you. What a joke. Being that mouthy and soft isn't a good combination. It's gonna catch up to Zegers eventually. Z talks way too much for a pipsqueak who plays zero physical game. Obviously, fans were getting irritated with Zegers running his mouth and then not doing anything about it, and they were starting to think that he was soft and just an entitled jerk. And then not even a month later, Zegers got under the skin of one of the most well-respected players in the history of the game, Sidney Crosby. Zegers looks like he attempted to take a shot after the whistle, and Crosby took major offense to that and gave him a little push. This obviously started a scuffle. And pissing off one of the best players in the league is super hard to do, and that's when Zegers really started to piss people off. People were saying stuff like, can't wait to see this kid get rocked and humbled. Zegers is a punk, good on Sid. Good to see people are seeing Zegers for who he actually is, a spoiled little brat. Then just two weeks later, Zegers threw a pretty heavy chop on Deneau's leg, started yet another scrum, and then was ejected from that game. And while being ejected, he made sure to throw a temper tantrum. This just threw fuel into the fire for haters, calling him a whiny little bit and mouthy. Now, in his third NHL season, Zegers isn't really performing as well as he was before, and he's been flying under the media's radar lately. Unfortunately, he's now known as a bit of a bratty and soft player who starts a lot of problems and doesn't back himself up. He's hated by the older generation of fans and criticized for almost everything that he does. I personally don't have any problems with Zegers, and I honestly don't think he deserves all the hate he's getting. He's just a young guy enjoying his time in the NHL. He doesn't seem bothered by the negativity and kind of does his own thing, carving his own path. The NHL and its fans should consider themselves lucky to have a player as talented and creative as Zegers, creating a new era of hockey.